being here on Saturday. Oh, man. So this is really, really great. Dude, I've been watching. I love this thing. Well, uh, this is super vibey. The room is... It's little. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all as big as it looks in the video, so you guys are brilliant. Uh, yeah. But it's super vibey, man. I kind of sat down here, and I just started diddling around on piano and had this room, and the candles were lit, and I was like, this is neat. So I just kind of ran the stuff over, and now it's just become this little show. It's kind of yeah. fun, right? Oh, it's cool, man. I love, I love, I love watching it and hearing all the crazy stories and the sort of conversational part. I think is probably my favorite. But well, it is. We should probably sing too. I well, we, we don't have to sing at all. It's really <laughs> cool. And uh, all right, well, tell me because I've listened to some of the stuff. Now. Uh, I love the new stuff. And tell, tell me about it. Thank you, man. Tell I, me about that. Because I mean, for listening. we've been, you know, of course, to, you know, writing and, and you know, I'm just a big, big fan, as you know. But I mean, it's just. You know, if we could, uh, if everybody could be a, an artist like you, <laughs> I'd, oh, I'd feel please. pretty good about our genre. But songs like Amen, I mean, really strong. Now tell me about that. Thank you, man. Um, well, Amen was kind of a, it was the accidental thing when you're trying to write the other song. And then somebody accidentally says something and doesn't realize that they just said a song title. You know what I mean? It's that beautiful Amen. moment. And um, I think I was I was talking to, to JT Harding. It was me, JT Harding, and Josh Osborne. And we were writing something completely different. And I was talking about a sermon that my pastor actually said at the beginning of the year. <clears throat> and something that he said that really meant a lot to me that I don't remember now, obviously. But uh, <laughs> but, but it was something that really like stuck with me. And I was like, oh, man, amen to that. Well, JT wrote down amen, and he was like, he was, and we were looking for kind of a, a direction to go with this verse that we were working on. And he was like, well, you said something really interesting. And he just said, he said something. I don't know what the sentence was that he said. I just remember him repeating amen and saying amen written in his book. And for the next 10 minutes, I, I can't tell you what he said. I was just in my own mind going, wait a minute, amen. What if amen was a song about, like, what if that was, like, the answer to the prayer? Because the moment when you say amen, when you're, like, somebody's talking, and you, you're like, oh, man, amen to that. Like, the physical feeling is very releasing. Right. You just, everything in your world changes all of a sudden because you feel like you're understood slash you understand you're connected to that person. And it's kind of like a prayer has been answered, too. And, right. and I wanted to write this love song that was more than just a love song, but, like, no, this is like an answered prayer. This is a miracle. Like, this is, a, this is something that was sent down at a moment where, you know, I knew I needed it, but you know, I, I didn't know what to do. It was a, it was a light in, in, in the dark, you know. Wow, so, yeah. um, so that's kind of what what Amen is for me. It's 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 an answer to a prayer, and it's that beautiful moment when you realize kind of how it looks, and uh, when you never would have expected it, you know. So.